Yeah. Yeah, we're good to go, man. Awesome. All right. All right. It was great to great to see you finally. Wow. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, like, I'm super excited and 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 a little and a little bit nervous because <laughs> you know I'm 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 just really honored to be on here with you because I know I know there's a lot of things going on. I know you're traveling the world and you're you know, taking care of your listings and doing everything that you do. So, so I, I, I appreciate, I appreciate your time. I appreciate it. I'm no, it's my privilege, man. I think we're going to have a lot of fun today catching up and uh, yeah. I'm excited to hear about your progress on your project too. And kind of things, how things have been developing now, you know, that, now yeah. the property for a while. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Oh yeah. Well, that's what, well, you and Stephanie are now in France right now, or you were in Belize? Yeah, so right now we're in the northern part of France. We're actually doing okay. some charity work. We're teaching adult French students English. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice. so uh, we're nice. just doing a little bit of charity work, unpaid volunteer work. And uh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. very rewarding. So uh, wow, wow. We're doing quite a bit of this lately, yeah. That's, well, maybe I'll talk to you sometime about my, I don't speak French. I should speak French because my mom's side of the family, but. We'll talk about that over a bell again one day or something. <laughs> Sounds good. I'd love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. And um, you know, just to kind of kind of update you, man, a lot's been going on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of shriek it down. Um, you know, this this YouTube channel is just been something I wanted to do just to document this for our family. And it's kind of morphed into, you know, something really beautiful, something really great. And we're having a lot of fun with it. And um, it's just something for me to really enjoy the process, you know, because in my mind and, you know, in my trying to capture my piece of paradise, I'm always and in my whole life, basically, I'm always thinking about, you know, what's next or when when we get this or when this happens or in a couple of years, you know, this will be great. But I'm just trying to enjoy it right now, you know. And so the YouTube channel is really helping me do that and um, just also connect with the with the community there more and just kind of just and I try to have to keep reminding myself the main reason It's just to we're just almost just doing this like a document for our family, but you know, hey, why not take everybody else on the journey with us? Because I think what we're doing is super, super unique. And it's just so cool. I don't want to do all the talking, but no, um, no. you know, just, just the <laughs> fact that I was able to, you know, meet you and get that first property. And then the second and the third property is just the uh, the blessing of, amongst all blessings. Um, you know, to have my best friend buy the property next door. And then our other friend buy that the next peninsula that end property, the creme de la creme, that, that, that beautiful property, you know, I still can't believe we have all that, that whole peninsula. I just, I, I still try to just pinch myself. I, you know, and thank you first and foremost to you and Israel, you know, for, for making those second two purchases, you know, come to fruition. But I really wanted to just allow our viewers to really get a view of, you know, who you are and, and, and what you do for people like me, um, and and um, not just investors or people want to own property, but I think, let me digress this a little bit. I think the, one of the reasons I really connected with you is because you really cater to those dreamers, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a dreamer. You yeah. might not know this, but this is what I took from it, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm a dreamer. I'm a, I'm a researcher, you know, and all those things. So I, I want to kind of talk about, you know, kind of maybe I can talk about all day how we met, but. I, I, I think it's unique to actually find a, a real estate agent on YouTube. You know, I'm from the States, from the Seattle area. And, you know, we're used to MLS. We used to, you know, we can even go to the county records and pull up public, public records if we want. You know, all those things are a little bit more cumbersome if you do it yourself in a foreign country. So having you, it's just been so valuable. And I feel like I'm just, I've just gotten so much free stuff <laughs> you know you don't get all this from from you, you real estate agents in the united states they sell you the property and then they say goodbye and until you're ready to buy or sell again you know mm -hmm. you may become a relationship hopefully you do with your real estate agent but you don't really need them until you need them right but i've been you've been just providing so many resources for me and just that first list you gave me you just give me this head start and i'm and, and i'm taking off <laughs> and that's Oh, they awesome. gave me the contractors and the architects and yeah. from those people I've met and I've got other 
um, recommendations and, and it just keeps branching off into more relationships and people that I'm meeting. And with that comes all those little holes and pieces and things that I've been thinking about. So anyway, enough okay. of me. No, so, no, that's good. That's a, that's, a good, that's a good way to start it off. So, so let me kind of address the whole difference between a U.S. realtor, or Canadian realtor, and one in Belize, because yeah. um, yeah, there are, yeah. there are massive differences. So, for example, if you guys were going to relocate, let's say to Orlando, um, you would do a little research on your own, and you would identify some neighborhoods or some schools that you would want to be in or by, or some you know larger services and amenities. And you would go into that area and find a real estate that, you know, probably one of the top real, real estate, you know, uh, houses in that area, Keller Williams, Remax, someone like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that real estate agent would know his market in terms of what homes are selling for, um, you know, per square foot, if there's any vacant lots available, things like that. But you're going to use your U.S. realtor as a resource pretty much strictly to buy a house. You know, you're not going to use them for much more than that. Whereas in Belize, now imagine on, on any given week through our you know social media, websites, YouTube channel, all of these little you know fingers we have out there reaching people around the world, you know, what comes into my email inbox is you know hundreds and hundreds of, of emails. Some people are just curious, what is Belize about? I saw a TV show on on Belize or this celebrity just went to Belize, so I started to Google it. Um, and they just have some questions. Um, they might not even want to buy. They're just kind of, you know, you know, bouncing around, you know, looking for opportunities, looking for uh, to, for things. And, you know, you, you start to develop a relationship, but you got to decide real quick out of these hundreds of emails per week, who, who needs my attention? Who's serious? Who can I provide value to? And, you know, new real estate agents in Belize, they get burnt out really quick. Because they realize, you know, the, the size of the funnel that comes in, what trickles down at the end, you have some buyers at the end, but the buyers mm-hmm. trickle down after months and years and in sometimes five or 10 years after the initial contract. Right. So, you know, what I think a good agent will do is, is they will start to provide some sort of information channel that helps bring people up to speed uh, on beliefs, not just real estate. So the questions I get is, you know, what is the cost of living? What is the safety and crime like? What is the healthcare like? What is the, you know, they got these these top 20 or 30 questions, whereas a U.S. real estate agent would never be asked the question, what is healthcare like in Orlando? Or, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, you know I'm moving yeah. down with three kids. How do I move my dog and cat there? It's like, yeah. but as, you know, as a Belize real estate agent, you, you have to know all of these things. You have to know the builders. You have to know, you know, how do you get permits? How do you start a business? How do you get trade license? You know, all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. so, you know, we, we do have to do a lot more work and so because of that, we we tend to really know our markets. So yeah. I'm doing this yeah. now, um, like I said, living full-time on Amherst Key since 2006. Um, mm-hmm. Now I'm spending my time between France, south of France and Belize. Um, whole other story. But um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so anyway, so when you came into the picture and we met, we started talking. You're right. I mean, I, I, I would, thankfully, I was able to provide you with not just a piece of real estate, which is fine, but also with what you needed to get going, things you need to think about as you start to develop the property. And just to comment about your friends buying, I mean, this is something really cool because as we grow up in life, we got friends we meet in high school, friends at university or college, friends uh, that we might work with. But over time, we move away, they move away. And very rarely do we have a good friend of ours buy our our house next door to us in the States. Yeah. 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 You're in the same neighborhood, right? But in Belize, you'd be surprised how many people buy in Belize. And then all of a sudden, you know, they they tell their their, their friends about it. Hey, you should buy the one next door to me and we can be neighbors. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So one of those places like where where else in the world does that happen? Where I know you have groups of friends owning in this little little aisle in the same little neighborhood so i think it's really yeah cool. that's funny that, that I, I might even run into somebody that has that same story you know <laughs> somewhere you know that would be yeah, amazing yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely yeah yeah i don't know if you remember um some of the conversations i had with you i wanted absolutely have to had to have beachfront yeah and there was nothing available and i i was gonna my plan b was 
Mahogany Bay Village. You know, I just wanted something to pull the boat up into. You know, I just yeah. I just wanted something to pull the boat. I don't have a boat right now, but it's a dream of mine. Okay. Um, and then you said, no, let me let me, you know, I think I have something for you. And all and not only my lot, but all three of the lots weren't actually for sale. Right. Correct. And I could not have known no one could have done that. No one could have known that unless they had the relationship. And you and Israel have 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 the relationships that was able to make that happen. And again, I thank you so much for, you know, for pulling that together for us because um, it was an amazing, it was an amazing deal that came just out of rabbit out of the hat. And it well, for me, for you, it's just everyday business. Um, and then it was, it was, it was beachfront. It it was, it was everything I wanted. It, it was, it, it didn't have road. It was no road access, which was twofold. It was good. Cause I didn't care. I just wanted a boat dock. And because it was road access, it was below, it was something I could afford. Yeah, right. I mean, if, if that lot would have had road access and power and all those other things that people think that are necessary, um, yeah, that would have been two or three times the price at least. You know, the reason yeah. you got it in such a good deal because it was in the path of progress and it is yeah. just across the split from North Secret Beach. So you have all yeah. that for, and plus just the sheer size. I mean, when you look at the plot mm -hmm. maps for most of San Pedro, you, you're looking at 60 by 80, 60 by 100 lots. You right. got you got at least what double or triple that. It's just really yeah. the amount of the yeah. amount of land you got plus the waterfront for that price was really good. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and talk a little bit about the purchase. It's it's good timing because I just put out that purchase video, yeah. and I was talking about you know this ten 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 program, and I told the viewers it's not a program. I just called it. I have to call it something. Yeah. But you know, it's something that's typical that um, that um, buyers like myself can take advantage of when we're talking about seller financing. And I did talk about a mortgage, which you know, not too many people do. And I talked about cash, which we did take advantage of on the third lot, but we took advantage of on the first two lots was the seller financing. So tell 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 our viewers a little bit about that. Um, and, it's, and it's great coming from you because I talk a lot about you. <laughs> so that was great for that. our viewers to actually see you and hear from you. And then like, see, Eric's not just talking about <laughs> to be talking. Here's the guy, Dennis K. So thanks, Dennis. Go. No, yeah, no, no worries about that. Yeah, so so I... in Belize, you know, Belize is basically a cash market. Um, there are banks in Belize that will loan, like you put out in your video, um, mm -hmm. on properties. There's a couple of banks that you can work through. But honestly, in the 15 years I've been doing business, I've had three clients do bank financing. So three mm -hmm. clients in, in 15 years. Um, yeah. So either you have to bring cash to the table or mm -hmm. you have some sellers where, okay, I have a property, I want to sell, and I might need to sell for many reasons. Maybe one reason is I just need to raise, you know, 30 or 40 grand to put my kid in college this year, or I, I want to invest in my, you know, second property in the States or buy a boat. Okay, I don't need all the money right now, but I'll take some and then mm -hmm. I'll take payments. And that's a great way to sell in Belize because, you know, a lot of people want to buy property. They don't have all the cash up front, especially if they want to get something a little bit, um, I, I would say more expensive. More expensive comes with probably closer to the water or beachfront, right? So yeah. like what you got, you know, the the seller offering financing enabled you guys to get a bigger piece of property on the water, where if that wasn't available to you, maybe you would have had to go with something off beach, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, seller financing in Belize works as a win-win for both the seller and the buyer. I mean, the, the seller's happy. They make a little interest rate. The buyer's mm -hmm. happy because you know what? It's, it's a stopgap measure where they can buy at today's prices, knowing prices are, you know, drastically going up, you know, all over the island, especially for waterfront. So it allows you to buy the property at today's prices, and then you can pay it off whenever you want. There's no prepayment penalties. You can, you know, yeah. two years, five okay. years, 10 years, whatever the length of the loan is, but you decide when you have the funds to pay it off. It could be you're selling up uh, your primary home in the States or you're cashing out a 401k, whatever, whenever mm -hmm. you get that chunk of money to pay it off, you can go ahead and do, do so, but it allows you to at least to buy it to these prices. Yeah. And sp since we're on that piece, talk about once it is paid off, you have to pay that, uh, that stamp tax, right? Is that what yep. it's called? Yeah. 8%, 8%. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because we don't, I haven't paid that yet. I'm going to have to pay it when, right. when I pay my property off. And yeah. like the third lot, my friend who bought the third lot, um, she paid cash for hers and yeah. she paid that stamp tax with the, in the sale. Right. Yeah. So that's important to know. I mean, yeah. that's, that could be a, that could be a big surprise. 8% of, 
I think her 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 deal was like two hundred and two two fifty. Yeah, you know, cash for that. So yeah, that was, yeah, so that was let's, nice let's, let's, let me talk change. on that for a bit. So what the government of Belize does is, first of all, very very small country. You're looking at three hundred fifty thousand people. Government doesn't mm -hmm. have a lot of money um, mm -hmm. at all. But the way the government makes their money is through import tax. So anything you bring into the country, whether it be a boat, a car, um, a pair of designer jeans, technically, mm -hmm. supposed mm -hmm. to pay 50% of the value to the Belize government as an import tax. The other major tax is this 8% uh, tax. Whenever real estate transfers to another person, it's 8% of the purchase price. Now, mm -hmm. what that enables them to do, though, is keep property taxes extremely low. So once you mm -hmm. own the property, your cost mm -hmm. to keep it is almost nothing. Like on your lot, what is it? Like maybe 150 bucks? 75 dollars or something? 75 bucks like, a year? Yeah. yeah. For for waterfront. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so property yeah. taxes are extremely low. Uh income taxes are extremely low. There's no capital gains tax in Belize. So mm -hmm. Belize does a really good job of once you're set up, taxes are very low. But if you have the money to buy a piece of real mm -hmm. estate worth, you know, a quarter mil. Well, then, yeah, you you pay that one-time fee. It's a one-time right. fee and that's it, you right. know, and you're done. You right. just figure it's, it, Makes sense. you know, and you look at a lot of part of the world, uh, here, even in France, I think you have a six or 8% stamp tax on all transfer of land. So right. this is not uncommon, but especially in countries mm -hmm. like Belize, it helps fund the government and it helps keep other taxes low. Right, right, right. Um. Well, that's a that's a really good point. Now, the other piece, I think on the purchase thing, you know, so we have, like you said, we have those three options. Most people take advantage of either cash or seller financing. And then um, now where we are right now in, 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 in our lot and, you know, I think for not just for, you know, to talk about what I'm doing, but how it can help other people. Um, just to kind of wrap up our the purchase deal, the the the. 10, 10, 10 um, discussion. Mm -hmm. um, my friends, he he did financing. He did 10%, 10, 10, he basically 10, 10, 10. On my specific situation, I did 15% down. Right. Because that's what the, the um, you know, the seller, um, you know, wanted. Yeah. And, um, you know, so in my, in my situation, with the hundred fifty thousand dollars sale price at you know fifty, I think it came to like thirty thousand dollars. Okay, and um, so some would say, well, and I mentioned that in the video. Some would say, well, that's that's not you know ten ten ten, but it but it it's kind of some variation of that, correct? And it depends on what the seller wants, and it's usually something that's. I felt it wasn't a really a hard negotiation type of situation. Number one, he wasn't selling, mm -hmm. and so basically we just had to agree upon something. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah you know sure <laughs> and and it was just kind of a yes or no situation yeah. and then in the other two lots um for kamal's lot it was the same thing yeah but it happened happened to be um just 10 percent down for him okay and then in the cash deal you know israel and i kind of negotiated that that was a little bit more negotiation on that one um probably because it was a cash deal maybe mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but um i i i, I Hopefully, I'll get a chance to interview Israel as well. I'm sure you will. That guy was a rock star on that deal. We were just like, because because this is here's a quick story. I always saw that lot. You know, the first thing I saw when I saw my lot is I saw that lot. It's like, wow, it'll be nice. That's but you know, I'm grateful for what I have. Yeah, you know, don't be greedy. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Um, but then, just real quickly, my friend Cabal bought the lot next to me just because he's just out of pure excitement. And then <laughs> sight unseen. And I did sight unseen too. And remind me, I want you to talk about that. And we'll All kind right. of maybe wrap it up with that because that's kind of a real big point. Um, and then uh, my other friend, um, as you know, she, she likes to, she wants to, her name wants to be, you know, she wants to stay anonymous, um, you know, for, for whatever reasons. And, you know, that's cool. And she's become like my my little sister now. We're all really great friends. So they work together in the, in the IT world world here in the Seattle area, right? She heard about what Kamal was doing, got so excited. I want to buy some property too. You know, Kamal wanted to buy right next door to me. I didn't think that was going to happen. We made it happen. She wanted to buy. And I said, well, you want to buy on the other side of Kamal? Because I was thinking that Peninsula property, no way. That's no way. No way. I'm not even going to try. And then I said, I thought, well, let's just, all they can say is no. 
And then I, and then in Israel knew the people had the relationship again. And I, 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 I still don't believe it. You know, <laughs> I have to kind of look at the paperwork still and see, we got that one too. So anyway, all three of us bought the, I say all that to say, all three of us bought this sight unseen. Right. Yeah. You had never, totally been, never been to Belize. Never. I've never been to Belize. Never. But Dennis, I've researched Belize for about 15 years. I'm, I, I've, I've, I've done so much research. I'm a research nerd. It's, it's a hobby of mine. I love to research. So my buying it sight unseen was, it, I was very comfortable with it. Number one reason, because of you, because of, you know, what I saw, I, I felt like, you know, some people say, like, well, isn't it a scam? You know, you might be buying some swampland or so you might be, you know, this and that and whatever, you know, my mind, I'm, I'm pretty good, you know, judge a character, I would think. And I think just to, just to, cover all the scam people out there you know they i get all these questions too yeah sure um but i would just say it have to be a, a very elaborate hoax because <laughs> i basically looked at all your videos from all the years the 10 12 years you've been on youtube i looked at all of them <laughs> you know how you can look at the youtube videos you see the little yeah. red line the one that you've looked at i've looked at all of them <laughs> so and i've looked at all the testimonials so i was like okay he have to have i hired a bunch of actors right so anyway um, I felt so comfortable in buying Sight Unseen. Now, my other two friends, they were going, they bought Sight Unseen off of pure, purely my excitement. And, you know, obviously they know me and they trust me. Mm -hmm. So they basically, they bought it off trust based on my vision and, and what I laid out for them. And I didn't ask them to buy either. I just happened to just mention it to them. Hey, this is what I did. <laughs> I want in. I want some too. I just like, like wait a minute. What? What? I'm, because Kamal is my investment friend. We've invested in the United States for years, but I wasn't asking him. I was just like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, go ahead and speak to, I know it's not recommended. That's what I'm getting. I know it's not recommended to buy property without coming there and seeing it first. And I, I don't think I would recommend people to do what I did. Mm -hmm. But what, what's, what's your thoughts on that? So it, it, it really depends on what they're buying for. So for example, I get a lot of people who are strictly investors they have, yeah. they have IRAs, they have 401k rollovers, they got money from inheritance. They're just looking for a place to park some money and to grow some money. For them, mm -hmm. they, they don't need to come down and see the exact property because it's just, it just the numbers have to make sense, right? It just, it's like buying a stock. Like you know, if you're buying Apple stock or Coca-Cola, you don't go visit the factory. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you just need to make sure that the investment is good. If you're making a, a lifestyle investment, like, okay, you know, I'm actually going to move to Belize someday. I, I want to retire there. I want me and my family to move there. Then I feel the neighborhood is pretty important because, you know, if you got kids closer to schools, if you want to be on the water, you know, which water, boat access, road access, all the kind of stuff. So, you know, for them, for the lifestyle people, it's like, yeah, you know, come down. Or if they're, if they're at an age where they have time to pivot. You know, I have a lot of guys, 30s, 40s, early 50s that buy sight and scene. In fact, to be honest about, 70% of all my sales are sight unseen. People have never been to Belize before. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah my yeah. wife, my wife thinks my wife, my wife still can't believe because how does this work? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I guess what you yeah. said, longevity in the country, the ability to do your own research. You got you got drone videos, you got Google Earth, you got, I mean, exactly. you got you can do your homework, right? So yeah, yeah so for what you did, I, I I would still recommend that because I mean you're talking a large piece of beachfront at a good price with financing. The worst thing that could happen is you got down there, you saw the property, you know what? It, it's not what you thought, it's not what you wanted. Well, we'll sell it for you. You can, you can go on your merry way or buy something else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I, I guess that would be a re re recommendation, you know? Yeah, you know, you know when, I, when, when we first got down there, Israel, we walked through the water, got down there and my wife, you know, she was, she's not the, as risk averse as I am, you know, and she's, she's an accountant too. So, you know, she, 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 she took a minute and looked around and gave me a kiss and said, you did, you did good, honey. You oh good. man, that's awesome. <laughs> and then to make it even better, the next time we came down with, um, with Kamal and um, I'm going to call her Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal and Becky, um, they got, they got very emotional. Oh, they, we, we took a moment. We prayed there in the water, held yeah. hands, the three of us, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a moment. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. So, so again, thank you again for giving us our little slice of paradise. 
Oh man. Yeah. Privilege. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's all I had for you for today. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm sure we'll be talking again. Yeah, because, absolutely, man. Um, absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing the next steps and what you guys do with the property. And um, yeah, it's good. You know what? It's going to be something really special because there isn't much like that on the island. You know, when, when I tell people, when you're looking at these different neighborhoods and different areas, spend spend a couple hours on Google Earth and actually zoom in and look. Yes, this little peninsula yes. where you're at is something really special. And uh, yeah. yeah, to get that whole tip, you guys did well. And then the new Google Earth is out, you know, the yeah, Google Earth sure. Pro desktop. Yeah. And I actually can see, I know it's new because it, my land is cleared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I know it's updated. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you don't have anything, Dennis, um, thank you. Thank, thank you, you Eric. again. And I'm I'm very much looking forward to finally maybe, you know, I know we keep missing each other down there in Belize. And I've been a couple times other now. We'll see each other I'm going to try to get down there again in September. I'm 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 turning 60 and I'm trying to plan a 60th birthday party, Dennis. Oh wow, you don't look it, man. You're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And I'll try to I'm try I'm I'm planning on Belize to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, hey man, keep in touch and we'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, give Stephanie our love. I will. All right. Cheers. All right. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye.